All right, Jordi Prepper here, and I just thought I'd give my thoughts on a score cap as a EDC gray man type option, protective option for your head. And I've seen a few people that had these and they reviewed them. So, and um, I thought it was an interesting item just to get as a prepper, as like a gray man protective uh, piece of gear for your head. Obviously, it's not going to offer full protection. It shouldn't be relied on to to give you maximum protection because it it's not the any personal protective equipment should be a last resort, and you should always take options and do a risk assessment and just make sure that any situation that you might be going into, you don't use anything like this as your main thing that's going to reduce your exposure to hazards because for one thing you simply don't know um like if you're in a, a large protest for example you don't know everything that could be coming your way and you shouldn't really rely on anything like this to re to reduce injury um because the best way to reduce injury is obviously just not to get in the way of anything that can cause you an injury, for one thing. But as an option which you could have on you in a grand man situation, um, which could reduce injury or the effects of any hazards which you may be exposed to, then I think this is a really good grand man option, really. Um, now, I don't have a baseball cap, which it's obviously designed for, and a few of the problems um, which are apparent when you try to use it with a beanie, because I use a beanie a lot. I always wear one pretty much all the time. Um, the problems which were apparent is because you're not using it with a, a baseball cap. Now, a baseball cap, now this is the rear of it here. Obviously, this is where on a baseball cap you've got the, the tab at the back which creates some tightness around the edge, which helps it stay on your head a lot better. You don't have that with a beanie. So basically what happens is this isn't got as tight a fit around your head. So it does move around. And obviously if you've got long hair, then there's nothing to create friction on the inside when it's on your head. So this will move around on your head a lot more when you're using it with a beanie. Um, the other problem is is that with the there's less protection here at the back. So obviously, like if you've got the if you've got it on the beanie here, I mean you do have a bit of protection at the back with the beanie itself, but there's nothing really from the skull cap itself. So if you were to fall backwards and bang your head, you still risk going unconscious if the if the impact's severe enough. And also the other thing is that there's no friction with the beanie itself. So there's no sort of texture on a skull cap to stop it moving around. Uh, in fact, there's there's so little friction. Even if a strong gust of wind was to come by, the beanie would probably go flying off your head. Um, I mean, there is like a little bit of a pad here, which if you've got like very short hair, like me, and if you were to freshly cut it short, so you've got that bristly um, texture on your head with your hair, then that would help the skull cup itself from moving around but like I said there's no sort of tautness around the edge which is what a baseball cap creates so you've got this loose on your head and then you've got the beanie itself very very little friction to stop it moving around but I mean as you can see it covers it just fine and when it's on your head you, you can't see the skull cap so as a grey man option for just a little bit of more protection, then I think a skull cap's a really nice addition. Uh, and obviously there's other options that you've got 
for covering your head and they might work better with the skull cap um, anything which creates like a lot of tension around your head would work very very well because it would help to you know get that pressure on your skull on your head which would hold it in place a lot lot better and then you could wrap something around it um, maybe like or even a combination of things which go on your head might be a good option if if you don't wear a baseball cap I think obviously I might get a baseball cap just to use with this as I do think it's a very good EDC option and um, I think it, it does definitely have its place but like I said you know it shouldn't be relied upon to to reduce the injuries or anything that you might be exposed to hazards um, obviously if you're going into a situation and you are thinking this is going to you know reduce your injury completely then that's not the case it's it's not it offers very very minimal protection obviously it should be used as a last resort really like any personal protective equipment it should be a last resort but I think this is a good addition it would just be nice if uh, if there was different versions of skull caps if this had, for instance, a built-in with creating tension around the edge just to hold it on your head, then that would be good. And also, if they could just put a bit more protection across the back here, then that would protect the back of your head from impacts uh, just a little bit more. Um, and then, obviously, if, if they could do something on, on the here, just put some sort of texture which will create a bit of friction with things like beanies um, but obviously which won't catch on the material and um, potentially ruin it then you know it would be perfect but you know I've used this a couple of times when I've been out and about and um, it's been fine so if you're thinking about a skull cap and you don't wear a baseball hat which it's designed to insert into then that's just my thoughts on it and um, let me know if what you think um, do you any any of you actually use these regularly um, it would be nice if there was different versions like I said so I don't know maybe someone who makes Skull caps might see videos of people reviewing them and take on board these things, but um, I just thought that I would share my experience of it. So be safe, guys, be prepared, and I'll see you in the next video. Ari, Geordie Prepper here. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and share the video too if you did. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and some constructive feedback is always welcomed. The Preppers Discord server is always available to talk to myself and other preppers about prepping and other relevant topics. My other social media is on screen now. You can follow me there and I usually just use it to post when new videos are available. Don't forget to be safe and be prepared and also check your preps.